KION News Channel 546 at 11. Us on this Thursday night, I'm Phil Aldridge. Veronica is on assignment. Last month, there was a demonstration of a clean energy, affordable streetcar running up and down the train tracks of Santa Cruz County. But not everybody is on board. KION's Erica Bratin tells us why the streetcar has been met with enthusiasm and opposition. If you live in Santa Cruz or Watsonville, you may have seen an electric drill car make its debut down the rail tracks last month, and it sparked some curiosity. The demonstration was an opportunity for us to show the community what is possible. The rail demonstration generated curiosity, excitement, and many positive responses from passengers and onlookers. The single streetcar ran on the Santa Cruz branch rail in the two cities. The electric light rail vehicle was manufactured by California-based TIG M. It traveled about 433 miles and carried around 2,100 passengers at the time. Each car can hold up to 100 people. Peak hours, you can put up to three cars together. Then during lull times where there isn't as many traffic, uh, as much uh, need for it, then you can uncouple and have one car. Faulkner says it was a hit with students, the elderly, and people in the disabled community, as well as those looking for a car-free commute. It's an equitable form of transportation because it allows regular transportation from Watsonville to Santa Cruz and back, so people who need regular transportation can access it. Though Coast Futrua would add an additional means of transportation to Santa Cruz County, not everybody is on board. One of the reasons are there's still upgrades needed for the rails, bridges, and railroad crossings. There's tens of millions of dollars of repairs that need to be done on the tracks. Jack Brown is a volunteer with Greenway, a group that would like to see more bicycle and pedestrian paths where the tracks currently stretch. Brown says there are many in the Santa Cruz area who strongly oppose the electric streetcar project and says the TIGM streetcars are a false impression of what is actually available. They run at a speed of anywhere from four to eight miles per hour on average, yet they claim that they can you know, run 15 hours a day at 50 mile per hour speeds. Currently, the organization is collecting signatures for a voter initiative in June of 2022 for the Greenway Pass over the light rail. People have the impression that it's going to magically reduce traffic on Highway 1. Um, yet when you know you look at the studies and you actually ask some of the people that are rail enthusiasts, they're, they're saying, no, not really. It'll make like make a 1% difference. As for Coast Futria, the next step is an approval of the business plan, then see what kind of funding is available. Reporting in Santa Cruz, Erica Bratin, KION, News Channel 5, 46.